So we're still here at the Ford event, and of course you can't film an F-450 without running into another F-450 fanatic. What's going on, my friend? Hey, big truck, big RV. Nice to see you, dude. Good to see you, Andre. What do you think of the new, uh, the new Super Duty in general, 2023 Ford Super Duty? I was skeptical. I was coming in here and I thought, okay, it's the style change, new interior, but they touched almost everything, including like the electrical architecture, towing features, engines. Yeah. Four engines? Four it, engine options, I it's mean? It's crazy. It really is. And it, I mean, who would have thought we would have spent this much time looking at tru at a truck that, from the exterior, it didn't look that radically different? Yeah. You totally. know? So, yeah, and I, I got to interview all the guys here at um, uh, at Ford, and you can check it out at the TFL Truck uh, channel, of course, and also uh, TFL Now and TFL Talk. Absolutely. They have a phenomenal group of YouTube channels. I say group because you guys touch on everything. And we have uh, eight channels. <laughs> I gotta admit, you guys actually are, they put out so much detailed, relevant information about trucks. If you if you watch my channel and you like it, subscribe to their channels and you'll love it. Their, their channels are absolutely awesome. That's really nice of you to say. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. Of course, of course. Anytime. We, we see each other all the time at these events and um, just a great group of guys and they're very honest and ethical about their feedback, their opinions. And you guys do the real tests. The Ike Gauntlet, you guys now have your own land to do some testing on as well. Yeah, and I want to take this up the Ike, dude. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't? This thing's pretty and freaking amazing. And big uh, fifth wheel? I did. I mean, it's not that big. It's, it's not that big. It really isn't. That's the thing, but it's, it's pretty cool well, you're the big rv big truck guy so you know you know your trailers so and i also love watching your videos dude, on your trailers and camping trailers really appreciate that yeah we got to do some more collaborations great group of guys definitely check out the folks at tfl and all of their channels because i'm sure they got several that will interest you always good seeing you brother thanks What's going on guys? So we are still out here taking a look at the all new 2023 Ford Super Duty. And in front of me, you were looking at, you know, it's hard to say luxury because this is like ultra luxury. This is the highest end trim package you can get on one of these trucks in a very unique color. And with me, I still have my new good friend, Dave. Yep. So Dave is a What's your title again? Vehicle Integration Supervisor on the Super Duty program. Yep, I'm not gonna repeat that because I'll always <laughs> mess up a couple words. But anyways, he knows everything about these trucks and he's gonna guide us through a Ford 2023 Super Duty Limited. Again, highest trim package you can get and I'm imagining every conceivable feature is available on this truck. That's right, so we'll start at the front. We've already seen the new front ends here, but we have unique headlamps for our Platinum and Limited trucks. Uh, obviously, we've extended the grill out into the headlamps to give it a wider appearance in the front of the vehicle. Uh, you can see this is one of our new colors. I don't know what it is, but I love it. Yeah. My <laughs> next truck will be in this color. So um, this is the front of the truck as we progress over here to the sides. I think we've already hit on these are larger air vents, but they're functional. So these actually extract air out of the uh, engine compartment as you're towing or uh, just driving down the road uh, making heat. And real quick, one thing I did notice, all the grills are a lot more open in terms of airflow. That's correct. Versus the outgoing models. Good point. So that's all to improve our cooling while you're towing. So these numbers are gonna improve here significantly uh, from towing perspective, and we need air to cool this engine, especially with the limited that brings in the high output as part of the standard package. Yep, and if you haven't been watching the other videos, there's now four engine options available for Super Duty. You have a 6.8 gas, which replaces the 6.2. You still have the 7.3, though it's been highly modified. And now you also have the 6.7 standard and a 6.7 high output diesel option. Crazy, all paired to 10-speed transmissions. Yep, and very efficient. So as you come along here, you'll see we still have power deployable running boards on this truck. Um, again, we have bed side steps. We talked about the deployable side step in one of your other videos. Uh, we come back here into the rear of the truck. We have our bumper step with also a deployable step over on the, path, the driver's side. With a handle. With a handle, yep. And important yep. to point out that handle. Uh, so this is our LED uh, tail lamp. It has a bliss sensor in here. you see we have LED backup lights. But this in here, right, is pretty cool. This is our onboard scales. So onboard scales is uh, another feature that we're really proud to bring into the Super Duty that will allow you to not only load up your truck, but it takes the guesswork of how much you have loaded. So you set in a pre-programmed value for your cargo and your passengers, and then it will tell you how much available payload is left in your truck. 
and it's viewable not only from back here with the right. light, with kind of a light status bar, but on the screen inside and on the smartphone. On, yep. So you got three places to view it. So tail lamp, screen, and smartphone, as uh, was just mentioned. We talked about the trailer hitch here, uh, and then other things we've done to improve the trailering, uh, the hitching experience. Uh, but let's focus on this one here. This is one I don't know we've seen yet. So this is our power up and down tailgate. So you see, I just pressed the button and it brings itself down very easily. Uh, but what's really cool about this feature uh, this tailgate is we have parking sensors in here to avoid you from smashing your tailgate when your tailgate is down. Yep. We also have an industry first camera that's right here. And what this will do is as you're backing up, say to your trailer, a loading dock, whatever you're backing Fifth wheel. up to, yep. yep. Uh, this will allow you to see as you're coming uh, with the tailgate down to still have a view on the, on the center screen of what you're potentially backing into. This is so critically important for people who use gooseneck trailers or fifth wheels because by just miscalculating how close you are, you could easily run into the, the overhang portion or the underhang portion of your fifth wheel or gooseneck trailer. That right there is probably the single most innovative feature I've seen on a new truck. That is amazing. The camera as well as the sensors are gonna prevent so much tailgate damage from potentially occurring. Right. And what's so cool about this too is as you deploy your tailgate, the camera will switch from your camera view right here and it'll just seamlessly transition into that tailgate down view. That is very, very cool. So we go around this way here. Uh, we've seen the new bedside. So even though we're looking at a 350 single rear wheel truck right now, we have the 450 next door. Um, do you know anything about axle differences between the outgoing 450 and the new one? It looks so, like it's a little different. Yeah, so the outgoing 450, obviously the axle size grew uh, slightly to, incre uh, to uh, enhance our towing experience, to allow you to tow a little bit more with our new F450. When the numbers come out, you'll see why we needed to go with a bigger axle to handle uh, the additional torque and the additional load that the uh, trailers are putting on the rear axle. You, you say that so nonchalant, but I guarantee you, one of the most important things that people are honing in on in my videos is, hey, how big is the new axle? Is it bigger? And the fact that you guys went from already a heavy duty, it's pretty much a medium duty rear axle to an even larger medium duty rear axle is pretty amazing. And when I say medium duty, I'm only talking about from a truck perspective. We're not talking about heavy duty semi off, you know, or over the road highway truck. So that's it's pretty amazing. But what's important to say about that too, you bring up a great point, is we didn't just focus on doing that for the F450. That's our ultimate towing machine, but we know customers that buy these trucks tow very heavy also. So we've also upgraded axles and other driveline components to make sure that when you guys get the numbers that you're impressed with everything we've done and we know that the driveline will hold up to our new uh, towing values. Uh, so we have axle improvements across the board, and we've focused on improving the towing experience across the board too, not just on our F450, which is ultimately the ultimate tow work. That's awesome. And I know some people will also ask about the frame. Uh, interestingly enough, I remember someone telling me at one point, the 2017, the, the first year of kind of the aluminum exterior body Super Duty, right. the frame member channels were so large that you could actually fit the competitor's frame inside of the Super Duty frame. Have there been any frame changes so or? Our, our frame has proven to be very durable throughout uh, the life of the P558, as we've called it, from 2017 through 2022. So the frame remains uh, highly carryover, but it's still, it's a boxed steel section uh, frame as we've had in our previous generation truck. That's awesome, that's awesome. So very, very cool. And if you didn't watch the previous video, he mentioned it here. So you have your side step here, but they're also gonna have a deployable step that can come down beneath it to give you kind of a staircase effect to get into the bed of your truck or to do whatever you need to do, whether it's hooking up gooseneck chains or just accessing your toolbox. So that's really cool. Okay, so this is our limited highest trim series Super Duty available. So what you see in here is we have a unique limited interior, which brings uh, luxury to the next level in the heavy duty truck space. So you notice the seats have uh, pleated leather in them. Um, you'll also notice that we've brought our max recline seats into the Super Duty. So this right here allows you to um, provide some um, support for your shoulders when this seat is pulled all the way reclined. This seat back will fold fully flat. And it'll also the lumbar will pop up a little bit and the, uh, the support down here in the bottom will fold up to make a completely flat surface. So whether it's you are on an overnight trip somewhere and you don't have a hotel room, the hotel sold out, you're just trying to get somewhere in a hurry, or you're just simply working and need a nap, right? This is the ultimate uh, interior to do that in. I'm gonna make a comparison because I just came from the Detroit Auto Show. This feels very Lincoln Navigator-ish. 
I mean, and I know that's kind of a compliment because Lincoln's also a Ford brand. Right. But the fact is, just the seats, the way they look, the bolstering, all of this, that is, that's insane. I mean, this is just something you would have never expected to see on any truck 10, 15 years ago. This is just, it's incredible the refinement that you're seeing in these newer trucks. Right. So with that too, this truck here also has all of our, we call it ADAS, so it's driver assistance systems on it. So this truck brings in lane centering. We'll okay. be able to bring into so uh, essentially be able to drive with very minimal input into the steering wheel. So it'll keep you safe. This truck, as we call it, is your partner. It has your back through the hardest towing experiences you can imagine. So we have lane centering that will come in. We've also got our sink, uh, our 12-inch sink screen. We've got the high uh, cluster in this. This truck has basically every option you can put on this truck. Uh, we've redesigned the media bin in there to have a different. Uh, um, location for the wireless charging, a little bit larger wireless charging, uh, preventing um, any dropouts that we have uh, driving down the road. We know that our phones are constantly growing in size too, so it allows larger iPhones and uh, uh, larger devices uh, moving forward. We've also, listening to our customers, we've got a hard button for our heated steering wheel. That's oh, something. good, uh, good, yeah, no longer. You know that, that was a pain yeah, point. Sometimes searching around the to find. Now. Um, the steering wheel button, but there's actually a hard button in there for it that allows you just to turn it on or off with a, uh, a hard button. Uh, additionally, another feature too is we have an electronic parking brake, which some people might say, why? But what this allows you to do is when you're backing up your trailer, you can hit a button that tells you, hey, I want the parking brake to be on as soon as I put it in a park. So you don't have any of that rolling back or forth as you're trying to couple a trailer without our uh, Pro Trailer Hitch okay. Assist system. That's very cool. And we bring in 28 uh, camera views. There's all kinds of unique uh, camera views that show up on the screen. We have views that come out of uh, the mirror here that shoot backwards. If you had a trailer back there, it would show what's alongside of your trailers as you're driving down the road. Uh, we showed the tremor. I didn't mention the tremor, but the tremor has unique uh, rock crawl views, which uh, project to the front tires, too. So this truck here will have a HUD standard, will have all the best of the best uh, standard with uh, Pro Power on board. I remember when I bought my Super Duty in 2017 that having seven camera views was a big deal. Yeah, right. Seven camera views. How many did you say? Well, we have 28 camera views. That's insane. And I have a 2002 Super Duty that has no camera views. So <laughs> Unless you hold your camera way. out the window. Right. So. Yeah. That is absolutely crazy. So I did get an opportunity to film the rear seats in the King Ranch truck, but not very, in this one. It's very similar. It's just the different. Let me put that seat down for you. So completely flat floor area. This one has some dust on the really nice right. mats. But check this out. This is insane. I mean, the level of luxury in this truck just it, it boggles the mind. It really does. Right. So I got your panoramic sunroof up top. So have your suede headliner up top, which is on your limited package. Yep, we got uh, USB ports back here, heated rear seats, 110, 12 volt power points. Uh, we have a storage bin that's underneath the uh, rear seat here. Yep. A full and flat. Uh, somebody told me, and I can't recall who, but the angle of the seat has actually been been a li they've put a little bit more of an angle to yeah, it. Yeah, I believe we put two additional degrees into it that allows you a little bit more comfort here in the rear seat. We have so much best in class leg room here, so we mm -hmm. took that rear seat and we allowed a little bit uh, uh, more of a recline on it. Very good. Well, this is absolutely you get beautiful. The Eighteen speaker uh, stereo. Okay, so in a previous truck, again, I did not know what those were for. I figured they were probably speakers, but um, yeah, tell us a little bit about those uh, speaker grills. Yeah, so up you there. see up here, these are uh, part of our B&O 18 speaker premium audio system. So you have speakers here, you have speakers in the headrest, you have obviously speakers in the door and in the A pillar, and there's a subwoofer behind this too. So new for 2023 Super Duty is obviously 18 speaker system, and I believe the base is uh, eight speakers still uh, from a carryover perspective. Uh, but what's unique now is we're bringing in uh, different audio tuning that's unique to the Super Duty. So we know our customers, when they're done with their work, they like to just kind of relax, whether it's listening to Led Zeppelin or country or even some classical music just to let them decompress. Uh, we uh, strive to bring in some good uh, audio systems for them. Yep, and you know what? Gone are the days of simply going to Best Buy and swapping out your radio for a new radio, right? right Everything's now integrated. So. You, you guys really have to innovate from a sound perspective because it's not as simple as it used to be in the past just to swap your head unit out. So right. you're seeing these insanely good sounding stereo systems coming on of all vehicles, pickup trucks. Right. And that's pretty awesome that you guys are really focusing on that because people used to spend thousands and thousands of dollars upgrading their sound systems and 
Now, because of these crazy 12-inch displays and all the technology that's baked in, you guys are seeing the fact that that's not really practical for folks anymore. You can't really do it. So, yeah, you're including really amazing sound systems. Right, and we have we take this level of truck here. We know that the person that's buying this truck has um, very high standards, right? And they are very proud of their truck. So uh, I've always kind of coined this truck as like the work to play or the date night truck that you, you maybe have another high end luxury vehicle sitting in, uh, in your garage, whether it's a Navigator or uh, some other luxury vehicle. But you go out as a couple and this is the vehicle of choice that people tend to take yeah. because they're so proud of this and it's something that you really are proud of when you show up. In. Well, and they feel safer. They feel safer. Yep. Yep. That's what my wife is. That's why she drives an Expedition because she likes to feel that large safety net around her. and. What's safer than a Super Duty? Nothing. Right? Right. I mean, it's like driving around in Thor's hammer. <laughs> All right. Love it. So, hey, we're starting here with the base trim truck. This is XL. This is the budget uh, conscious customer here. So uh, available in crew cab, super cab, and regular cab configurations. Very capable unit. And we go into an STX here that allows uh, some more styling above the XL package. Again, available in regular cab, super, and crew cab. And LED lights. And LED lights. Yep, great to point out. And we have XLT. Then we bring in an XLT Sport package, as we haven't seen before, that brings color-coded uh, grills and bumpers into uh, the appearance package. There's also our black package, so customers love all black vehicles. We know that. We offer a black package just today. Then we go into Lariat, again, available in all cab configurations. And for the customers that still like chrome, plenty of people still like chrome. We get chrome skull caps, we get chrome grills, we get chrome bumpers. We bring in the Sport package, which allows you to color code your grills and bumpers uh, with your base vehicle. And then again, we bring in a black package that has everything is all blacked out on it, including even the Ford Ovals. Uh, King Ranch, King Ranch is always a classic for us that brings in the unique interior, more of a rugged interior, uh, very popular with many of our customers. We bring a lot of uh, uh, high content feature standard into King Ranch. We see King Ranch with monochrome, so some people don't like two-tone. So. You can get a King Ranch without the uh, That's tan. That's my current truck, bottom. Ruby Red. Okay. Uh, then we go into our Platinum. Platinum is one of my personal favorites. I always have loved the way that we integrated modern uh, with tough into the Platinum. And then we have the Limited, the top of the line. So Limited is for the customer that wants everything and just wants to be able to buy one package to get it all. Absolutely amazing, my friend. Well, as you can tell from the videos that we've already made out here so far, there's a lot going on at Ford. Absolutely. The Super Duty is a project that is constantly evolving and moving and, and growing and, and just turning into what it needs to be for what truck owners are looking for. I didn't think there was anywhere to go from a 2017 King Ranch that I have, but to see what you guys have added, it just proves that you're listening. And that's really what it's all about, making a truck that buyers want to buy and owners want to drive. So that is really, really cool. Anyways, Dave, I really appreciate it. Um, all the time you've taken to kind of show all of this really, really great innovation from Ford. Um, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very, very soon.